Well, today um, we made some really, really good progress. Uh, it was a very productive day, due in large part to uh, one of my best friends, Adam, who uh, came over and helped me um, get uh, a whole bunch of new uh, lighting up. Um, so we put up six T8 uh, fluorescent lights and got them up to the same switch that was turning on those two little tiny lights before and uh, <clears throat> so now I got plenty of light over ne over top of my work areas um, still gonna do a little bit more when I get the um, benches installed along this this wall and that wall there um, I'll put some under cabinet lighting um, in over there but uh, vast improvement. I'm finally being able to film under proper light. <laughs> it's not kind of dim. My eyes don't hurt anymore. So um, so he in large part worked on that lighting while I um, uh, kind of did a Mach 2 of the prototype. Um, Makona Online suggested that I try uh, um, using uh, pulleys on a wire rope. Um, so I tried that and I added a little bit more on um, that. Uh, I put it all on a slope so it helps return um, on its own. It seems to work all right. Um, I get a big stack of hose here at the end when it comes all the way over to this end of the table. But uh, yeah, I mean, you can't hardly ask for more of that. Um, so I worked on that and I got the 220 line run for the dust collector and uh, I got the dust collector in place. That's its uh, more or less going to be the, the temporary, uh, you know, permanent home for this. Um, eventually, I want to disassemble the whole unit and take that motor and mount it up on the wall over here somewhere and make a two-stage dust collector system and get a, um, a uh, um, what do they call that? Well, it's a cyclone, but it's um, not Eureka, but there's another another company, Oneida, um, their large dust de deputy, um, and I'll get that in line and then use the same filter and bag system uh, on the outlet, so, um, and then I want to run six inch conduit down the middle of my shop and um, pull off uh, drops from there, so anyway, it's coming along good. Um, Man, we just got a lot done today, so uh, I just want to demonstrate the new way of, how, you know, how this hose system works. Um, I have not uh, put soft limits in on my uh, router yet, so I'll pay attention to that while it's filming. So, kind of one of the advantages is that it's lower on this end. So the tube tends to push on itself a little bit more to get it all, you know, bunched up in the end here. Um, so yeah, it's it works pretty good. Uh, you know, I end up with this these lots of loops at the end, so probably lose a little efficiency when I'm cutting on this end. But you know, I don't know how much um, I really need. Uh, it's moving some fairly fine dust. I wouldn't expect it to be moving a lot of large chips. So. Um, with the dust skirt on there, I think it should contain a lot of that that stuff. I should still have plenty of face velocity um, and enough to move everything through here. And the good thing about this being clear is I can check to see if there are any problems and I can try and remedy something. But uh, it uh, it works pretty good. It gets all the way out to all the corners. Um, the majority of my work is not going to be, you know, on eight foot long sheets. Uh, although, you know, I will do some of that when I make cabinets and stuff like that so um, I think the you know the majority of the work is going to be in the you know the first four feet here um, but we'll see how it goes uh, but I'm pretty happy with that you know adding a slope to the line like that seems to help it uh, come back so um, maybe do some fine tuning here after I get the the bracket mount up on there to help hold that um, but yeah, I'm happy.
So, uh, a lot of good progress made today. So, um, thanks, guys, uh, for all your suggestions and help. And uh, I'll talk to you soon. Thanks. Bye.